Hey, what's good everyone? It's your boy, Matt Diazabal, coming at you with a new EP review. Thanks for coming on by, I appreciate it. Today, I am checking out the latest release from Jell with their latest EP called Persona. Ooh. Jell is a hardcore band based out of New Jersey, and they have kind of coined the term uh, hardcore for the freaks. Uh, I guess that's how you could say it. Uh, they try to make really, really interesting and odd kind of hardcore music while also including making their uh, music in space very inclusive for everyone who's outcasted from the outcasted from the outcasted etc etc they are they are known for being very welcoming and i discovered gel last year when i was starting this review page and their album only constant from 2023 was definitely one of the highlights of the years in terms of uh, being a great punk and hardcore album by really infusing that weird sound they have, especially with the very mesmerizing guitar riffs, the very husky uh, vocals, and really, really snapping drum, uh, snapping, snapping drumming them. And I gotta say that they are keeping that flow of weirdness and great punk aesthetics with this new EP. And I guess all the uh, acknowledgments and just where they're going they're going like they're leveling up in their career it makes sense because they're putting out some really good work and they're working really hard they don't slack off they seem to really put in a lot of work for their uh their music and their craft so mad respect to them on that so uh on that note let's get into this review it hasn't even been a full year since gel released their debut album only uh constant but as you can tell, the band is always hungry to make new music. They, as a punk band should be, they're always ready to make more and more and more. And I would say what they've done with this uh, EP compared to the, their debut, they seem to have like streamlined their music and just made it more polished and just expanded on their sound, I think. It's uh, interesting how they've cut down a lot of the fat from their uh, music while also in, uh, integrating different new, integrating new ideas into their sound. I think what I noticed about this new sound that they've got here, I feel like they are pulling from like the 90s alternative and grunge scene and adding it to their punk aesthetics with the uh, more groovy uh, drums and guitars, particularly on the song um, Shame and Persona. The guitars have a really, really uh, 90s feel to it, but also a nice groovy feel to it. So. Here's a clip of Persona for you. Very groovy and very like 90s influenced, I think. And also I made a mistake. That wasn't Persona, that was Shane. Whoopsie. I gotta say, I think the drums are the lifeblood of this band because they inject so much unique style and deep drumming with their style that you can't help when you're listening to it, but just like, oh, like bob your head to it because it's so groovy. And I like the interesting pat uh, drum patterns they do with like the tom heads and using the cymbals and the hi-hats in a very uniquely and dynamic way. Sonically, it sounds really nice to listen to these drums, uh, particularly I think on the song Mirage, the opening song. The drums are just really going in and it just sounds great. They're just popping so well. With the bass and the guitars, specifically the guitars, uh, I feel like they're not doing anything too flashy with this album. They're going more of the like simple, less is more route and just making some really solid riffs that are just keeping up with the pace of the drums and just sounding really, really solid while occasionally throwing in some cool like guitar scaling and like cool little uh, uh, patterns, I think, or like guitar uh, riffs. But overall, they're pretty much staying in their lane and just sounding really good. Uh, also, the bass as well, it's got a lot of a uh, subtle feeling to it, but they're not being too uh, flashy as well. They're just playing really nice and nicely and deeply. So I think they're doing a consistent good job on this album. What I really do like about the guitars and the bass are like the actual sound of them. They have a bit of a gritty 
feel to it and a bit of a griminess to it that's really nice the lyrics on this uh ep are well written um nothing is very straightforward to you they're kind of like a little bit on the cryptic side and slash abstract so they can be open to interpretation i think and i like how the main vocalist her vocals aren't as husky as before they seem like everything on this album more refined they've had more practice and so they sound more um uh i guess the way I'm, i want to say is they just they scream very well without sounding like they're sh being strained too much like she sounds like she's just gotten really good practice and, and doesn't sound like she's hurting her vocals and another thing that's really good is the backing vocals they do a good job of adding a lot to the songs and helping them uh elevate their sound a little bit give it some uh, nice fresh uh style and just make it feel a little bit different like on the song uh persona they do a really good job of playing between the backing and main vocalists so here's a clip of that noise only issue i had with this ep was more on the side of uh the production side it seemed like the vocals and the guitars at time were either too low or the other instruments were too loud. And so the those uh, parts of the band kind of got drowned out of it a few times. Uh, particularly, I think on the song Martyr and Vanity, the vocals are not the strong, strongest, I feel like. And that's more because of the uh, production issues, I think. And with all that being said, um, I think, you know, Jail, they're still on that course of being one of the newest hottest punk bands and for good reason because they're putting out really good material here and they just they just keep pushing their sound refining it make it more lean and more polished but while uh at the same i guess at the same time like they're being more acceptable in modern day modern mainstream music but i think they still appeal a lot to the people who are the outcasts of the outcasts as they say the freaks in hardcore and i feel like they're finding a good balance between both worlds and I'm really stoked on that. So I would say this new EP from uh, Gel is a good and solid 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. Links down below. Tell me what you think about this album. Any other recommendations? I'm uh, very interested in always checking out new music. Uh, I'm Matt from Diazbo. Thanks for coming on by. I appreciate it. And like always, see you in the pit.